Hi, I'm Charles Spencer and I'm the 19th generation of my family to own Althorpe, an estate 70 miles north of London and it's been my responsibility to look after it since I was 27. Well, I, I always knew from a very early age that I would be taking over one day. My father died very young so I, I inherited very young, I was 27. It was a big shock, you know. I had a, I had my own career which had to stop and it was going quite well and it, it was quite difficult for me to sacrifice being a television journalist to become a landowner and an estate owner. But it was what I was always going to do so I did it. And uh, I don't believe you should ever regret things, you should embrace them. What I try and do is include the children who are interested in the estate in its sort of everyday work life. I think you have to see it from the bottom, as it were. For instance, my 15-year-old son, he spends, I hardly see him. I, I see him at breakfast and then in the evening because he's out on the estate enjoying it. You know, he loves nature, he loves the people who work there. And then equally, my elder son, who would be uh, the, the natural heir if the system continued, the eldest son. He's very dutiful and you know, he'll come to, we have twice a year business meetings going through the accounts etc and he'll come to those. So I don't, I don't ram it down their throat, I like to keep them involved and engaged in it because it's a gentle process you know and if I live a normal length of life there's plenty of time for it to be a sort of gentle handover rather than an abrupt change. The fi family setup is very complicated because I've been married, I I'm on my third marriage and I have seven children and uh, my eldest four children grew up substantially in South Africa and I have one who spent an awful lot of time in America. We are dealing with something with very English values, <laughs> an estate in the countryside. I think the most important thing I've done is engage family therapists to, so we can have conversations that are complicated and I'm not sure that uh, we'd have coped otherwise, it's very difficult. Not being aggressive enough business-wise, you know, I have brought in good business systems, but I think we should have diversified the estate's portfolio more, with more international property and more London property, um, although that's peaked. I think the biggest accomplishment with the estate is the fact that it's still going. I remember when I was young, I was thinking, God, you know, I'll be 40-something when it's the 500th anniversary, I'll be 44. And I used to think, God, I'll be so old at 44, I mean, what will I be like? And now I'm 54 and you just roll with the years, but eventually the accomplishment now is that I have a much more sane view of what it's all about and what it's not about. And what it's about is keeping it together, making it relevant, and um, so many other things outside the estate. It's, it's having a full life.